Well, if you've been trying to eat healthier, we've got some good alternatives to some of those foods that you may want to avoid. Healthy living expert Kimberly Amack is here now with some smart food choices. Nice to have you with us. Thank you so much for having me. Excited to chat about this today because yeah. one of the things people don't realize, it's time to spring clean not only your house, but your pantry. And what we have here is we have some nutritious swaps that you can make without sacrificing flavor. That's a big thing. Yeah, so you want to eat this, not that. Eat this, not that. Okay. Absolutely. So we'll start over here. Okay. Um, you know, you make your muffins, you make your bread, you make your cakes, your, your baked goods. What you can do is you can actually substitute applesauce in the place of sugar. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to save about 700 calories per cup of sugar replaced with a cup of applesauce. The so it's an equal swap. Equal swap. The only thing you would like to do is that other liquid ingredients cut that back down by a fourth of a cup mm -hmm. and so that you don't lose any consistency that you want to keep for your baked goods. So it doesn't change the flavor, it just cuts the calories. Doesn't change the flavor, cuts the calories and also cuts down that saturated fat. That's something you really want to watch out for and a very easy swap. Everyone has applesauce in their pantry, everyone has sugar. Let's choose the applesauce next time. That sounds good. <laughs> okay, breakfast bagels. I think a lot of folks don't realize how many calories are in yes, there. Yes, they are. There's just tons. What you're going to do here is you're going to swap your bagel and cream cheese for a whole wheat English muffin with no sugar jam. One of the biggest things here, you're definitely going to save calories, about 300 calories you're going to save there, but the fat grams is what we're really focusing on here. It's about 20 grams difference in fat between the bagel wow. and the English muffin. And hey, it's super tasty. Yeah. I love English muffins. They're so great to take in the go, in the car, perfect for work as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the no sugar added jams are really delicious. Absolutely. Too. You can see we have full fruit in there, some mm -hmm. of the cherries and blueberries. So it's something That's an easy swap. You don't Absolutely. miss anything. No. Yeah. Yes. Okay. This is a good idea uh, if you like sour cream on, on lots of things, and lots of people do. That's right. I love sour cream, especially on chili tacos. You were talking about um, baked potato yeah. as well. One of the things you can do, you keep that consistency, trade out sour cream, trade in Greek yogurt. You're going to go talking for the some plain variety. Plain Greek yogurt, yep, so you have the same consistency and you literally will not notice the difference because the taste is so good. Okay. But one of the best things about this swap is that you're adding protein. You're adding about 17 grams of protein per cup of nice. Greek yogurt. Okay. So that's something we really want to watch out for is cut out the fat, but hey, you got to make sure you're still eating right sure. and adding that protein in there is a great way to do that. All right. We know we need to cut out french fries if we're trying to cut <laughs> yes. out the fat. You say kale <laughs> chips are a great alternative. So one thing people really like about their french fries is the crunch. They like that it's, you know, that, that flavorful um, thing that they're getting yeah. from the french fry. What you can do is trade that out for kale chips. Kale chips are crunchy. We actually have these all organic and we added some vegan cheese in there. Can I try? Absolutely. Go for it. All right. Yum, yum. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. So again, saturated fat, you're, you're talking about over 500 calories in those french fries there. And your kale chips, depending upon how, you, how many you eat, one serving is about 100 calories. That's good. And the best part is kale has antioxidants that you're going to get every time you eat those kale chips. Cool. Before we go, let's talk about what we're drinking. Yes. So soda, soda, soda. 66 do grams of sugar in every soda and about 300 calories. We have this great sparkling flavored water by Cascade Ice. It's available at Kroger, Harris Teeter, and Food Lion. It's the same fizzy taste. It has that carbonation, and you're not having, you have no calories and no sugar whatsoever. Cool. So you keep that fizz, keep that flavor, but cut out all the sugar and the calories. Some great ideas. Yes. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thanks all for having right, me. Start eating kale chips. <laughs>